Hello everyone, I'm back with a cost haul. I've been doing this series where I look back at my cost purchases and I look back at the previous year and what I got and what I actually wore and if it was worth it. So this time I actually did a purchase to it or new purchases because I promised myself to buy less than I bought last year because I was so focused on building a dream wardrobe and buying things I was actually very happy about and I did that but I went a little bit in overdrive and then this year I want to look back at all my purchases and really give these items their money's worth and wear them to the fullest and only buy things that I am going to wear a ton so I know what I'm going to wear and I know what I like but I also have to be realistic with what I actually wear a ton and what I wear just sometimes so I have been eyeing some things on the cost side and I didn't buy them full price but then it was sales period so I bought four things so they are in this box it's the first time I bought this kind of box but it is because there is a bigger item in it so there are shoes uh, and I have my favorite pairs of shoes uh, from last year that I have thrown away and since then I also bought some on vintage but I'm very excited for these because I was about to buy them at full price and then they were on a 50% sale and I still didn't buy them because I had these other ones from Vinted uh, that I haven't worn yet but then they were 70% off so it is this boot they are very similar to the shoes I got. I would still wear them if they weren't broken, so these are very good. I'm a little bit cautious of this part. I hope they stay as sleek as they are. They remind me a bit of the row shoe, and that's actually why I bought the previous ones uh, also, because they are a good dupe. I found some other ones that were very similar, but I didn't want the exact ones. Like, I didn't want the exact look, because I don't like to wear a designer shoe that is fake, because I just like something that is similar to it, so I think this one is very similar to it, but it's still a unique design. I don't think it's a rip-off, I just think it's a similar style, so that's what I like about these. And the quality is very good, I try them on in stores. Um, and I have these other ones I can show you. And they are from Zara, I bought them on Vinted, they are new as well. I will do a comparison. So these are the ones I got from Vinted, from Zara. They are new as well, but you can see the glue on them. That's clear, like that. And if you see the detailing on this one, it's very different. This one is a lot heavier as well, this one is a little bit lighter. And I think, I think they are both leather, but this one looks like plastic to me. But I thought it was saying it was genuine leather. But you know, you never know when you buy on Vinted. Not that I mind a vegan leather, but if it's plastic, I don't like that either. Uh, because I have shoes for four years that are leather that are still lost in me. And I hate it when they say vegan leather when it's just plastic. So that's the first item I got. I have some other things. So the first or the second thing actually is men's sweater and I really like the coloring on it. I also like how it feels. I think it's a 100% cotton. It's a relaxed fit and I really do like it. I was very excited for this one. I do recommend always checking the man section as well because I mean with items like these uh, you can't really go wrong and I don't think this is something that you would tell that you got it from the man section, not that I might add, but they have scarves on there as well that they don't show in the women's section which I think is weird because the scarf is quite unique sex to me as well. Uh, so that's the second thing that I got. And then I have two things uh, in the same color. So this one I actually got in blue in October and I really like it a lot. I haven't worn it a ton but when I wore it I really felt good in it and it has been winter so it's kind of logical that I didn't wear it but in summer I always wear long dresses so I got this one uh, in a burgundy, I think you say in English, uh, but it has a 
an other neckline I think than the one I got. It's more like a square. So this is the back. And the photo you could see this inner lining, not that I really wanted that, but I thought it was a nice detail, but as I look at it now you can't really tell it's there. But I really like the color of it, so I'm very excited for this one. I am cautious to buy things from polyester and so on because uh, I am someone who is not comfortable with wearing polyester because of the material, because it's also how it makes me smell. Uh, but this one for dresses, I make an exception because I think it's hard to find cotton uh, dresses that fit well and they wrinkle a lot, so I do like a dress like this and I think it will last me a long time. So this one is a third and then the fourth item is kind of a gamble. I'm not sure if I will keep this one because it's something I have already in white and I don't wear it a ton but I did want to try it on and see how I feel about it because sometimes I buy the same things over and over again and there are other things I like but I just never buy for some reason I don't know if you have this but I had it a long time with pants for example I never bought pants although I have pants that I like as I see it now, it's not a thick structure and I don't know if I like it. It has these special sleeves, which I did like a lot, and a neckline that is deep but not too deep. So this is an item I will have to try on, I think, to really see if I like it or not. So that's all the pieces.